And we start tonight with a heartbreaking story of a puppy beaten in Detroit. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. Police now have a suspect in custody in this disturbing case. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked to the woman who owned the puppy and posted the video so people could see what a former friend had done. She was hurt. She was not unconscious, um, but somehow he brought her back to life. She's talking about the horrific assault on this puppy by a man who was now a former friend who also videotaped himself beating and shaking the dog so bad that when the video went viral on Monday, a lot of people thought the puppy named Lady had been killed. The dog was shaken extremely bad by the individual uh, laying on its side. Uh, motionless. Uh, it's very tough to watch. Detroit police were alerted to the video and investigators set out to find their suspect. We had an apprehension team out of organized crime locate the individual and take him into custody early this morning. The woman will call Tiffany said the beating took place a few weeks ago on this old couch in her basement and that the man sent her a video of it. She said she checked on the puppy as soon as she returned home and that her friend admitted to doing it because he said the puppy destroyed some expensive sunglasses he left laying around. He said that the dog tore up some Cartier glasses that I had paid for and like I told him. I brought those ones. I can go and buy some more. Tiffany says she wanted to believe it wouldn't happen again, but then something else did. I heard the puppy yelping and it was dark. So when I came outside, I um, turned on the camera and when I opened the lid to the trash, he had tossed her and her food in the trash. She said this is recent video of the puppy and that Michigan Humane checked on her and another dog she had yesterday. Both dogs now living with relatives. The dog is currently alive. I'm not going to go into further details about the condition of the dog, but those uh, matters are being handled by Humane Society. A lot of people, especially those who advocate for animals, say the person responsible for beating the puppy deserves a long time behind bars. Tiffany said he'll never be around the puppy again. She's fine. She's very active. She's very sweet. She's like a baby. It's literally my other baby, but she's okay. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.